Hi everybody, welcome back to Fake It To Make It or Hi If You're New. I'm Katie and today I am decorating for the week of the 18th, actually my birthday week in my skinny classic. Um, this washi I'm showing you my wonderful friend Sarah at Plan Positive sent to me as part of a little birthday package. It's so cute, it's like this peachy pink and it has little skulls on it which I adore and of course goes perfectly with the Halloween book from Happy Planner which if you guys have been following you know I'm kind of obsessed with because I've used it I swear like a dozen times probably not that much but I've been using the heck out of the sticker book but for me that's perfect because it's money well spent right because sometimes we buy these sticker books I think with the intention of using them and we don't and I definitely have been loving and using this sticker book. So the first sticker I was drawn to um, was this like mystical, um, what do you call it? Like crystal ball sticker. And I think because I wanted to use the washi and it just matched with that sticker. So then that kind of turns into like my color palette. And I had laid down some black grid washi too, just as like a, maybe a contrast because this book does have a lot of pinks, which I love. And like the pinky peach washi, I thought I might need something dark. So I just kind of put that there, not necessarily to use that piece, but just to see like how the stickers I pick would go. And you can kind of see that that ends up kind of setting the, the color palette for this spread, which is perfect because there are a ton of this peachy pink and black stickers in the sticker book, which I love. I love that they're a little bit different and not the traditional black and orange, right? Or black, orange, green, and purple. I like that it's a, a little bit of a twist. Um, and I just think the sticker book I, it is amazing. I love it. You guys know that if you've been following me, I keep talking about it. I'm sorry. Halloween's almost over. So if you're sick of seeing Halloween spreads, after, after next week, I will be on to all the fall spreads. So I am doing a voiceover because this particular day, I think I was watching a show. I don't remember what I was watching, but I was watching something and, and just kind of wanted to relax and plan without it having to be um, me talking. I think I was a little tired. And sometimes when I'm tired, I'm not very chatty. And that probably just makes for a boring plan with me. So sometimes when I do voiceovers, that's why either I need a little me time and just want to put on a show and plan because it's fun or because I know that I'm a little tired and not so chatty and it will be you just watching me say um and like a lot and trying to find something to talk about. So I grabbed this fabulous sticker and I really like the pink I just, the ghost, the ghost is cute. I have nothing against the ghost. <laughs> I have nothing against the ghost, but it just wasn't really the, the look I was going for in this spread. Like I wasn't going to use any of the other ghosts and it's like super cutesy and not to say like these stickers are cute. It just, it didn't feel like it meshed well, but I love having a long checklist or long box on the right side of my skinny classic. It's like very functional for me. Um, I can write down errands or grocery items to buy, whatever um, that I need to do usually Friday through Sunday or Saturday through Sunday. So that's why I like it on the right side um, because this is my on-the-go planner. Um, I just love having a box like that on the right side. So I found this one that's a little bit more neutral, but we can tweak it to make it work. So I ended up going with that. And then I'm just going to add some black grid washi just to add a little dimension and, you know, a little, a little something extra to the spread. I love ripping my washi and of course I will probably grab my gift card. Oh, maybe I don't. I like using a gift card. Oh yeah, I do. I like using a gift card on the washi to kind of flatten it out and get any air bubbles out. Um, it just lays better that way. And then I love this sticker. It's so cute. I'm just really obsessed with this book. I'm so sorry, guys. You're probably sick of me talking about how much I love this sticker book, but I really do. It's one of my all-time favorites. So 
Speaking of all-time favorite sticker books, what are some of your all-time favorite sticker books? They don't even have to be from Happy Planner. Let me know down below. Um, last year's fall sticker books, I am obsessed with. I love seasonal stickers. I thought those fall books from last year were adorable. I love this Halloween sticker book and the Yay Season sticker book that uh, Alex House Designs um, from this year. Those are some of my all-time favorites. I also love, what else, Sophisticated Florals I thought was a really good one because it had a lot of functional boxes. Even though I tend not to use florals all that much, I thought it was a really good sticker book. Um, I'm trying to think, what else are some of my all-time favorites? I may have to think on that one, but the seasonal ones for sure are up there for me. So let me know down below what are, what are your favorite sticker books. Or also let me know if you could design your own sticker book. Like what is something you would want in a sticker book that maybe either you haven't seen, I feel like we've seen everything, or maybe just not enough of. Like what would be your ideal sticker book? That sounds like fun. I mean, wouldn't it be fun to just design your own sticker book? I mean, any of us probably could do that, but to take like the time and money to do it. So let's just have fun and pretend. Let me know in the comments what your what your ultimate sticker book would be. And so this is the washi that Sarah at Plan Positives gifted me for my birthday. It's so cute. I probably should have shown it a little closer up. It has like little skulls and it's just very like neutral and pretty and Halloween-y. All the things I love. She knows me so well. If you do not follow her, go give her a follow and tell her I sent you. She's honestly, she's so sweet. She's so supportive and so encouraging. She is a really just like genuine nice person so you should definitely go give her a follow on instagram she's the sweetest but i also love how that washi kind of coordinates with the pinky peach in this sticker book it was just perfect i love it um and i didn't have it so that's even better So I'm also curious, what are your plans for this week and next weekend as we're kind of getting up onto Halloween? Are people, do, if you have kids, are you going trick-or-treating? Are you doing more private parties? Um, or if you don't have kids, are you doing anything? Are you having a party or going somewhere for Halloween? I feel like now that things are opening up more and people are vaccinated and kind of feeling a little more safe to do some things that this year may look a little different than last year. Um, I know this weekend on Saturday we are going to my mom's and kind of celebrating my birthday and my nieces and nephews are going to be there and everyone's going to carve pumpkins and it's kind of, you know, a little fall celebration, kind of get us in the Halloween spirit and just a chance to be together. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun. Um, my kids are teenagers and so um, my son will likely do nothing on Halloween because he's 18. Um, my daughter still sometimes like with her friends, they'll go trick or treating or go hang out. Um, I don't know if it's not rainy. I always offer that they can have a bonfire or something here too. So of course, teenagers these days, they can never make up their mind. So I don't know. Those plans are all up in the air. So we will see what they end up deciding to do. But whatever it is, I hope that they they have a good time and have some fun because I think that is the cool thing about Halloween. It's it's just about letting loose and having fun and getting to dress up and, you know, eat candy and just enjoy being with friends right that's that's what Halloween is to me anyway it's just a kind of a, a really fun holiday thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed the spread how it turned out I think it's really cute and fun which is what I was going for I appreciate all your support as I'm trying to grow over here on YouTube if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like and subscribing and I'll see you next time have a great week everybody bye